Now, since we're in wrestling, we got a lot of the end of the year award stuff that came on. The Slammys came on Wednesday to talk about uh, who, who me and Prime last week talked about who we think uh, was going to win the Slammy Awards. Well, now the actual results came out. We're going to go over the results, and then we're going to talk about who we think should have won if the person didn't win at all. And then we have, I got the PWI, the Pro Wrestling Illustrator. Yes, I still read the magazine. I still go out and buy the magazines, believe it or not. I, I'm pretty sure everybody, I'm probably in a minority. I'm old school, but a lot of people probably just do stuff online. But I go out and buy the magazines. Because I love read. There's there's two magazines that no matter what happens. I'm lying. There's three magazines that I always buy. Can you guess what they are prime time after I told you what all my likes are? Are they wrestling? One is wrestling. Uh, never stop. I ain't going to say. Um, no, I don't buy Playboy. <laughs> I'm going to say Maxwell. But uh, I, I know PW Wild is one. Um, I, I just gave you a hint when we were talking about who died this year. Okay, so it's like Slam or... I do buy Slam Magazine for basketball. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. And one more. Uh, Entertainment? There it is! I don't know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. You guessed Ooh. it. The three magazines I still buy consistent on a consistent basis... And, uh, and sometimes I still have a mailing subscription for them. Like, I still have a mailing subscription for Gaming Forum because of my Game Pass and GameStop. I don't read none of that. Uh, it's PWI, Slam Magazine, and Entertainment Weekly. Those are the three okay. magazines I get consistently. And since I don't have a mailing subscription for all of them, I go out to Barnes and Noble every month and get them. Uh-huh. Slam was actually recently in uh, Seoul as well. You catch that little Easter egg. Yes. Uh, first of all, side note: if y'all have not seen Soul, go out there and see Soul because it, it really is a good movie. But there is a joke about the New York Knicks in that in that movie that had me on the ground dying. Oof. Did, I'm just like, I'm just like, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> there is a joke about the New York Knicks in that movie. I'm telling you, you have got to see it because I was on the floor dying. Dead serious. So, uh. Let's go over the slammage and then we can do the the uh, the uh, PWI. You cool with that? Yep. And then next cool. week, after me, me and Prime are going to go over our research, and we're going to come up with who we feel as though uh, our superstars of the year are. Uh, our you want to do our you want to do top ten matches of the year? Uh, we can do like maybe three or five. I don't, okay. I don't know if I have ten like. Well, I, I mean, may, to look well, up, yeah. I will say maybe if you think of five and I think of five. Okay, that'd be cool. Because too. because as we may if we had the same ones, it doesn't matter about the same. But if we have some some that's different to our opinion, then we can see you know who what we think is the match. So yeah, we'll do it. So we're going to do our own NERC uh, NC uh, awards next week. So make sure you guys uh, check that episode out. But this one we're going to just go over what. The PWI awards are and the, and the Slammy awards are, and we agree with them. So, we have the uh, the Slammy awards was a online show hosted by R Truth, and then uh, all the wrestlers and superstars got their awards at home, and they did like you know the Zoom call and stuff like that. So, we have here Superstar of the Year. The uh, the nominees were uh, Drew McIntyre, Roman Reigns, Randy Orton, Braun Strowman, The Fiend. Oscar, Sasha Banks, Bailey, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair. And this is the overall superstar, not between the men and women. So, and the winner was Drew McIntyre. Do you agree with that? Uh, I, I, I mean, yeah, I, I would agree. I mean, yeah, I would say either Drew or, uh, I'm first say Drew or Sasha. So, yeah, either one of those two, I would, I would agree. Gotcha. Okay. For the whole year. The whole it's the, it's the whole year, yeah. So, yeah, so I'm just saying because you know Roman wasn't there the whole year, so I don't think he can really. If, if Roman was there the whole year, did this tribal chief thing the whole year is easily Roman Reigns. Yeah, so since he just kind of got there, yeah. SummerSlam, I don't think that yeah. would be fair. Yeah, I I agree with you, but because Roman is the is the most interesting thing on SmackDown every week now, and I can't believe I'm saying that, but that's the truth. Uh, we go to match of the year, so we have. 
The Undertaker versus AJ Styles the Boneyard match. New Day versus Hurt Business from Raw. AJ versus Randy Orton, greatest wrestling match ever. Men's Royal Rumble match. AJ Styles versus Daniel Bryan in the kind of champion tournament finals from SmackDown. Roman versus Jay Uso. Uh, Hell in a Cell, I quit. Sasha versus Bailey, Women's Championship Hell in a Cell match. AJ Styles, Sami Zayn, Jeff Hardy, uh, Triple Threat Ladder match. Drew McIntyre versus Roman Reigns Survivor Series. Becky versus Oscar Royal Rumble 2020. The winner was AJ Styles versus Undertaker in the Boneyard match. Now, last week I had voted for that matchup, but it is a cinematic match, so you do got a lot of people that says it's not counted as an actual match. So I was like, to, to, to be fun, since we had a lot of cinematic stuff this year, Prime, I think we should come up with a category next week of what was the best cinematic style match all over wrestling. Oh, that's e- well, yeah, okay. That's easy for me, but I got you. Oh, he about to stadium stampede this shit. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but however, do you agree with that, or do you feel so it should be an actual match? And if it was an actual match, which one do you think it should have been? I mean, the the Boneyard match was good, but I don't think it was the best match of the whole year. I mean, the Royal Rumble match was very good, so I would either say Royal Rumble or AJ and Danny Bryant, honestly. Okay. Do you have an opinion? Uh, here we go. Uh, no, I just came in, um, so I didn't even hear all the nominees, so I do not have an opinion. I, but I, I am curious, did we already go over, um the robbery yet. No, we didn't go over the robbery yet. Uh, in, 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 in my opinion, I do agree. I one there, so. The Men's Royal Rumble match or Sasha versus Bailey Hell in the Cell mm, yep. okay. is the, the match of the year for me. It's hard for me to it's hard for me to decide because those matches were both great. So it, those would have been uh, my picks. Now we go to I might, as well, might as well just say Men's Royal Rumble next, since we both had that at the top. But, no, I'm gonna say Sasha. I'm gonna say Sasha and Bailey just to be different. And so now right. since it had everybody else look. I like, mean, the Royal Rumble wasn't my favorite. I'm just saying since we both had it at that top two. So yeah. That's what I'm saying. Rivalry of the year. I came uh, just in time. We have Seth Rollins versus the Mysterio family, mm. Drew McIntyre versus Randy Orton, Edge versus Randy Orton, Sasha versus Bailey, Archie versus the World, and Lana versus the announcers tables. Yo. <laughs> The winner was Edge versus Randy Orton. I what, personally, what, what's that? They, they won. They won. That my personal opinion. That's not who I would have rivalry of the year. But uh, wow. uh, who would you wow. have, Prime? I would have did Sasha versus Bailey. Yes. Well, you know, actually, I would have Sasha versus actually, Bailey also. Actually, since they, I guess they wasn't feuding the whole year. They was only feuded for like a month. Or no, a I didn't want to even hear. It's part of a whole story. Yeah, you're right. The whole story, but okay, fine. If you want to do it the way, because Edge and Randy was only feuding for what two months. To be yeah, fair, yeah, two pay per views, yeah, yeah. But I guess theirs was built up. So I, I mean, it's, from the Royal Rumble to the Backlash. And Sasha Bailey's was it? I mean, they would have been I guess. In WWE status, I guess they mean rivalry as in, like, you're actually fighting, not the build-up. Well, did... Because, you know, they build it up for over a year and a half, you know, just to have them fight on SmackDown. I mean... They did not <sighs> fight on SmackDown. It didn't go anywhere. It, it culminated in Hell in the Cell. You keep bringing up the SmackDown. Yeah, they still, they still had a match on SmackDown, though. Yeah, but you, uh, uh, it was the lead. It was the lead-in match. So, uh, uh, that's why Sasha Bailey gets it for me. Adrian Randy Orton was cool, but Adrian Randy Orton literally, Adrian Randy Orton was from, um, uh, February. I mean, they they teased a little bit of it in January, all the way up to March, stuff like that. And then, uh, uh, Edge got injured. They didn't really oh, finish yeah, it. After that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the greatest wrestling match ever, which he did a forty minute thing, and he shouldn't have did, but, uh. Yeah, Adrian when he wins it. Te- did, did, did you have an opinion? Because you said you were waiting for this section. I think it was Lana versus the announce tables. That was the most exhilarating rock. I'm joking. I'm joking. 
Um, I know. I bet they would have gave it to her too, just to give us something. But you know, I just want to know why y'all wasted that spot, like that nomination spot. To be completely honest, but I would say um, Sasha and Bailey as well. Uh-huh. I don't think it was right, Edge and Randy Orton. One, because of the reasons y'all already stated, and also because that match. That match. I'm not giving you rivalry of the year if that's 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 what we get as the end result. I, mean, I wasn't mad at the match. I was saying it, it was. I mean, they both these are both forty year old men. <laughs> it's just... I'm, mm. But okay, so these are both forty year old men. So why does AJ Styles and Undertaker win having... match of the year? I'm just saying by this logic. I'm saying forty year old men should not be having forty minute matches. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> like yeah. why? Why are they having forty minute matches? I don't know. I, I I agree. Tag team of the year. You had the Golden Role Models, Nia Jackson, Shayna Baszler, The New Day, The Street Profits, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Cesaro. So, uh... Insert Snoop Dogg who gift. <laughs> because what? So, Prime last week said it was the Golden Role Models. Yeah. Yeah. And, but the winners are the Street Profits. I think they Understandable. The Street Profits won it. And I, I, I actually agree with it. I agree with that one. The yeah. only reason I said the go to Roma is because they, they won both championships and then won the tag team championships. And it was like a unit and then they broke up. That's the, that's the only reason I said because they did the, the whole trifecta thing. Mm-hmm. But, you know. No, I agree. Street Profits did have a breakout year. They so. had a great year. Return of the year. We have Edge. Well... Roman Reigns, MVP, Goldberg, and Sami Zayn. I swear, Reigns. if Roman Reigns would have won this, I would have, I, I wouldn't have did these awards. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know but what you I don't think Roman Reigns had a great the return, one of the greatest returns this year? I yeah, but not over Edge. I don't feel like that. Edge counts. had Edge had the most. You know what? Because here's the thing: I picked Edge last week, right? And I was sitting there thinking about it, and I was like, "Yes, Edge got had a great moment." But in that return, what did he do? Not much. It, 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 Edge came back, got a huge pop. He ain't win the Royal Rumble. That's that's what a return is, though. No, I mean, a return is a huge no, pop. No, I'm just saying, kind of but it. a return is also what you do with the return. Like when Brock Lesnar came back in 2012, what you do with the return. He you had do- a WrestleMania match, even though it was 40 minutes. He came back and had a, a actual match at mm-hmm. WrestleMania, which nobody thought he was ever going to be able to. This man couldn't even take a bump. Let alone have a full match. So, but then I mean, you got Roman Reigns that came back, won the championship the next week, and then is the only reason why a lot of people still watch the SmackDown now. I want to. I just want to say on a technicality, I don't feel like he should even be in his category. Why not? Because he never stopped actively wrestling. He go. He left. Because the company's trash on how they were handling everything during the panorama. So why? <laughs> I don't feel the like what? the man was gone six months. But I don't feel like that counts as a return. Look at the other people on this list. Goldberg, as who should have been staying home, came back. MVP ain't been in. The, I say what I said. MVP ain't been here in how long, and came back. Edge, who we never thought would wrestle again, came back. Sami Zayn is another one. Sami Zayn had an awesome return and shit. He, that's the, the definition of return. He, okay, okay. Sami Zayn had the same thing as Roman too, though. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, but uh, uh, who was more impactful, Roman or Sami Zayn? We and know. then we know Goldberg, what, came back and beat The Fiend? I'm never going to nominate that. Again, I didn't say that these... Which, which by the way, Goldberg was going for how many months? About six? But again... again Goldberg is not an active wrestler. He sh- he definitely shouldn't be, but he technically is not an active wrestler on the roster. Even though he will not stay home. But I would say that I know it probably went to Edge because one they never thought he would come back and wrestle again. But I just think it's a dip is is levels to this. I always think return of the year they just they just mean the biggest pop, like the the biggest moment basically. Well, then it will be moment of the year then. But yeah, but they don't have moment of the year awards. They do. So we they, didn't get there yet. Do. Oh, okay. Well, 
I just still think Air just they just using they just, Air just just for the pop, basically. Well, if that's the case, Naomi should have had that last year. Mm-hmm. Well, you know. Poor Naomi. I don't know. I I I was feeling Roman Reigns in this category. I mean, for the okay. Naomi's for, almost this year too, by the way. For yeah. all intents, and so purposes, she should have been on this list who? as well. Naomi. Naomi. She came back this year. Yeah, you're right. For all intents and purposes, for what you're saying, sure, Roman Reigns should have won. Um, by the sense of what they did when they returned, I don't know. I just, I just don't know if it really would qualify as a return. However, if you're saying, what did you do? If we say it's somebody who was completely gone, and you're saying, what did you do with your return? Then MVP should be the one yeah, who yeah. would win. Not over, not over Roman. And, uh, you're not listening to what I'm saying. You just said, what did I, you do? Right? This man created this whole... He came back and reinvented his career. He, career. he, he reinvented... So did Roman. I was just saying, but look. You're not listening to me. Okay. If we take out Roman and Sammy, they were never not active wrestlers. They yeah. left because COVID and Vince are trash, okay? I'm yeah. talking about people who ain't wrestled in this company and they've been on an active superstar contract. Not because you are the top guy you get to take off because you don't feel safe. I'm not saying he was wrong for taking off, but everybody don't have that luxury and you know that. Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Let's move to the next category. So, ring gear of the year. Nominees are Charlotte Flair, Sasha Banks, Seth Rollins, The New Day, Bianca Belair, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Carmella. And the winner, which I said last week is either going to go to The New Day or Bianca Belair, The New Day won. Yeah, of course. Um, even though Sasha was, Sasha I don't even know why Charlotte is even on this. She have good ring jackets, but that's it. Just a yeah. jacket. She don't have no good ring gear. I, well, I guess the cat. I mean, if you want to, if, 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 if you want to do that, I mean, the Gears of War is just, you know, plates that take all yeah, that gear. Yeah, take stuff off too. Uh, okay, you're right. I mean, New Day, they are very diverse in their ring gear. Yeah, I'm gonna say, the reason why I do they want, I'm going to tell you why, is because they had one of the most creative new uh, ring gears this year. Remember when Xavier was injured? Mm-hmm. And they had the little number pallets on their, on their, um, oh, yeah, their gear. Like yeah. And as Xavier was getting better, they colored in a certain line. There's like, you know, like, uh, they had like, the whole. I feel like all the green, what all the green is supposed to go at. Exactly, like I said. So the, 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 those are things you had to kill. Like all everywhere says number five is supposed to draw green. Everywhere says number one is yellow. And then when Xavier came back, the full thing was colored in mm-hmm. as a big yellow thing. That was. You know, dope. I'm not gonna lie though. I loved when it started out all white at WrestleMania or whenever it was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was all white, and then like the next couple weeks they colored one part in, then they colored, they kept coloring it. I would love that though. It's like good, good detail. Good like, so, just, uh, awesome. I can see why they won it. That was a very a very creative thing to do this year. Continuity. Continuity. I, I like that. I mean, I appreciate that Bianca Belair makes her own gear. Yeah, and, and uh, looks, Street Profits gear. Too. And Street Profits stuff. And it looks, um, it looks good. It looks well done. But I figure, I didn't know that she was up against New Day. But yeah, they would, they would definitely win based off of that gear alone let alone other and they, they kind of change it up too so i like that mm-hmm. breakout star of the year dominic mysterio bianca belair <laughs> otis the street prophets murphy so last do, last week i do said they count huh does uh does bianca count though if she was like like or do they just not count NXT at all? They don't count right. NXT at all. NXT. There's no NXT in this okay. at all. The NXT Awards okay. will probably come Wednesday. Uh, I picked Dominic Mysterio. Really? The, last week I did pick Dominic Mysterio. I don't Dominic know Mysterio. why. I figured, I figured they was going to just throw everything at Dominic Mysterio. You fight Seth Rollins every week. I don't know how you break out. You fight the same person every week. <laughs> so, But they gave it to the Street Profits. Yeah, I think they, they, that deserved. I think that yeah. makes the most sense of these nominees. Yeah, I just thought it was a, I said, they go down to Mysterio's name. They would just throw, throw that on him. That's what I thought. Female superstar. Think about it. Huh? Earlier in the year, they were getting stunned by Stone Cold. 
Multiple who, times. Who, Street Profits? Yes. I, got, I, got, I, got to go back. I remember when, Raw, when Stoko came for 316 Day, and he started yeah, Byron Saxton. that's what it was. That's what it was. Oh, that's what it was. Oh, that's what it was. Hell yeah. yeah. Yes, oh, and Byron was in the ring and Street Profits. Becky was stuttering them too. Bruh, oh. I completely forgot about that. 2020 has been 37 years long. I, <laughs> yes. I <laughs> forgot about everything that happened in the first quarter. Female superstar of the year, Oscar, Sasha Banks, Bailey, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair. The winner is Sasha Banks. Becky should have won off the strength that she was out here wrestling pregnant. No, I'm telling you. My superstar of the year either is Bailey or Oscar. I'm on a Sasha. Look, look, I love me some Sasha, but Bailey has convinced me on that character that she did. Ding dong, hello, like. I think that I, was a great turnaround from where she was at completely. So I'll give you that. And I'm on, and then Oscar kind of saved the empty shows. Remember when it was emptied? This is before they they watched AEW and put the crowd in there. Oscar was the one doing all the entertaining dancing and stuff in commentary, and she was just awesome at her job and making it very entertaining to watch her. She helped save them pandemic shows. This comes from somebody who had to watch the pandemic shows. A lot of people just gave up and said, screw this, but I still had a job to do, so I watched it. So I was like, you know, and on top of that, Oscar wins the Women's Championship, has awesome money in the bank, has awesome matches this year, and still the Raw Women's Champion. I'm gonna be honest with you, and maybe because, and this is not my my opinion, mm. but I've seen several opinions that people feel like her championship run has been lackluster. It has. She really hasn't. So that, um, so that may be counting against her. Uh huh. Um, I just the, everybody else. I feel like it's a, a between the top three. I'm not picking Becky or Charlotte. Like, regardless of the joke about her being pregnant and wrestling, they weren't there. That's what I'm saying. Uh-huh. So, uh, of those three, I think it would probably be Sasha. Like they, she should have won. I don't think they would go with Oscar. Bailey, I do appreciate the turnaround of her character, but I don't know. I would just say Sasha because she won all three titles in one year and just had like a great year match wise as well. They were so NXT, SmackDown, Raw. They were like it was just like four days a week almost. Yeah, she, so um, she was like Darian. Yeah, she was doing no days off. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so I don't know. I mean, that's why I, I would say Sasha. Male, uh, male superstar of the year: Drew McIntyre, Roman Reigns, Randy Orton, Braun Strowman, The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. The winner was Drew McIntyre. Yep, I agree. No, yep, I agree. There's, there's no arguing that point. I don't Remember. have any. I don't have anything. Yeah, you're right. Moment of the Even year. Even though I will, I will, I will say, uh-huh. Randy Orton, Randy Orton probably should get second deals on this maybe. Well, he had a good year too. Because he had a great like, he actually cared this year. You know, some years he don't care. <laughs> yeah. He be phoning it in. Yes, but this year he, you can tell he, he was like all in. I mean, he set the fiend on fire, so that's way a good way to end it. Uh, <laughs> the moment of the year, the one you win for. We have the Undertaker. Uh, the nominees are the Undertaker's, the Undertaker, the Undertaker's final farewell. Drew McIntyre defeats Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 36. Becky Lynch announces her pregnancy on Raw. Edge returns to the Men's Royal Rumble. The New Day's farewell address on SmackDown. Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman unite. Bailey betrays Sasha Banks, and the New Day get drafted to different brands. Hmm, okay. So the winner. Which you already knew you was the funny. Undertaker's final farewell, mm-hmm. which sucked. So I'm about to say that was a trash. Thank moment. you, Taker. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> Listen, don't ever again in your life program in some chants from 2K for a tribute. Like I just, I can't. You could have bought out everybody in the back and made them do it. Before you did that shit, which I thought they was doing at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all flew out these old ass men for two minutes in the ring where they didn't even enter. I'm sorry. And guess I'm what? Sorry. And guess what? They gonna do it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is wrong <laughs> with you? We'll, we'll get to that later. Um. So 
I want her to listen to that. Whenever we do that, I want her to listen to these people that they got coming back. Whenever we do that. Oh, oh yeah. Let's go. Because we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it later. We're we, 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 we going to do it after this stuff is over. So. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a long list. Okay. Uh, so who do you think should have won, Prime? Uh, I think this is where Edge should have won. If 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 you want to say Roman should have won Return of the Year, I think this is where Edge should have won Moment of the Year. That's what, they got two different categories. That's what I was saying. I, I said all the nominees. Did you hear? Okay, I missed the Edge one. Look, uh, that one a strong second would have been um Roman United with Paul Heyman. Did you see that coming? Mm-mm. Had me pop for that. I mean, uh, oh, but Becky I mean, Lynch announced that she's pregnant too. Maybe, 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 maybe Becky. The only one I really see as like shocking or like as like a, oh my gosh is is Edge because I'll be honest with you when when Paul Heyman and Roman got together at first I just didn't care I still kind of don't care because <laughs> he just stands there you know uh, Becky it's like yeah she gave up a title she's pregnant good for her but it's not really like a uh a, a you know, a shocking like, oh my god! Just like, yeah, she's she's gonna be a mother. That's good. Um, other ones I, I couldn't really like get into that. So what about the, what about the, the, new, the new day getting dressed a different brand? I was like, that's just unneeded. That's a oh my, that's a bad oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> They're just not paying it off. But you know, All right, well, and then the, the farewell speech too that they said that I um. The new day wasn't really like, oh my god, like why? It was like, why? It's like, why are you? It could have just like parted ways instead of just drafting the separate things, what you know. Um, can I go now? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, me personally, I I can get behind. I feel like Edge should have won this. I know Undertaker was going to win this. I feel like Edge should have won. I I do feel like. Because of the type of industry that we're in, the Becky Lynch thing is not going to be a big deal. But I'm a keeping it a bean. As somebody who has been pregnant twice, if you're a woman, you're doing the math. She was in her first trimester when she was wrestling, which is difficult. Like just being your first trimester, and to do that, I mean it's pretty kind of dangerous but um i did i feel like that was a i, I was shocked because i don't think anybody really saw that coming um but i don't i don't think that would have won like overall everything but i do think ed should have won over the undertaker moment yeah they should have won over the undertaker moment. <laughs> so we have here the some awards that they had online that they just you know announced there's no nominees here so they had most creative 24-7 pin. Dead serious. Drew Gulak and Janet Outfit. That won. What? Musical performance of the year. Elias. Win? Don't know. Social media <laughs> superstar of the year. Bailey. What? Trash talker of the year for the women. Lacey Evans for the men. The Hurt Business. WWE Network documentary of the year. Earn ticket the last ride. I agree. That, that's cool. Celebrity of the year. Rob Gronkowski. That's the only one, ain't it? Bruh, get the fuck. Did, did, did you hear that, Prime? Hold on. What'd you say? Celebrity of the year. So the other appearance of the year, Rob Gronkowski. Is that that's the only one they had, ain't it? No. No. Pat McAfee. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I, I, oh, yeah, you're right. They he, they yeah, don't count he, he he, him, he's, he's an NXT, he's, but the problem is, Pat McAfee did what the punter did way better than the, than the, the greatest tight end they said. He did what he was supposed to, like he did what Gronk was supposed to. Yeah, but he was wasn't he like signed though, like already yeah, I, signed. I was like say, a, that's why I was saying they're not gonna count him because he is already. I feel like they count him as a superstar at this point. Wow. Uh, well, whatever, whatever case it be, Rob Gronkowski won double cross of the year. Barely betrays Sasha wins. Referee of the year, Col- uh, Charles Robinson wins. Wait, well, you said what? Of the of the year? Referee of the year. Low they really do wins. those awards? Say what? They really do those awards? Yes, they really do those. Because I know John Cole should have won like three in a row. 